What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back playing some Pokemon Sword and Shield, rocking out, hopping onto that rank double adder with this amazing G Max Villaboom and Trick Room Stock Ataka team. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. Thank you guys so much for the support that has been going out on this channel. Really, it does go a long way. But shout out to my boy Chase Fisher for dropping this team. It looks fire, and I cannot wait to get into some battles with it. But Rocking in on the front spot, we got Sakataka in that top left corner, Rock and Seal type with that Beast Boost ability and the Psychic Siege, which is going to pair well with this Ndidi. And then this, this thing has a move set of Rock Slide, Body Press, Wide Guard, and Trick Room. Ndidi right next to it with the Follow Me, Protect, Expanding Force, and Mystical Fires. It can set that Psychic Surge, which helps out the Sakataka, the Ndidi, and the Alkazam in the bottom right corner. Torkoal right behind my face cam. Life Orb, this thing's an absolute beast in the Trick Room. Very slow Pokemon. Can hit like a truck, especially because it has Drought as its ability, so fire damage will do more. And then, like I said, we got that Life Orb and then moveset of Protect, Eruption, Heat Wave, and Earth Power. Right next to him, we got G Max Rillaboom. I absolutely love Rillaboom ever since it's got its uh, little upgrade with the Grassy Surge ability. It's just so much stronger. This thing has Grassy Glide, Drain Punch to get some HP back, and for that attack boost from the uh, Dynamax, Fake Out, and Protect. And it is also holding that weakness policy, so maybe potentially we can go up plus two on that attack board. Bottom left corner is a Trick Room Pokemon that you haven't seen in forever. We got ourselves Jelly Scent over here with the Water Absorb, the Zoom Lens to give it better accuracy, with Skull, Dark Pulse, will o -Wisp for those physical attackers, and another Pokemon to set up Trick Room right here. Final spot is Alakazam. He's going to thrive in the Psychic Surge. This thing has the Quick Call, it has the Magic Guard, and then Expanding Force, Speed Swap, Ally Switch, and Protect. Guys, if you want to try out the team for yourself, Mount Code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder and try to get some wins with this team. First battle coming at you guys, and this guy has a huge meta team right here with Urshifu, Tapu Fini, Regileki, Rotom Heat, Kartana, and Landorus in its little flying form. I actually did not know that they have forms because I didn't really play Gen 5 too, too much. So I did not know that really at all. So thank you guys for the information in the comment section down below. But we're going to get rocking here. We're going to have to set up Trick Room here. I think, I think Trick Room is something that we need to thrive with. He might have Taunt, but then we just follow me with Ndidi, and we go into Sakataka, set up Trick Room, bring Torkoal and Rillaboom in the back end. I think Rillaboom is just going to be a great back end Pokemon. Kind of can do work up against that Tapu Fini. Do some nice damage up against the Urshifu. Uh, the Regilecki doesn't do too much to it. The only thing that does a lot to it is going to be that Rotom Heat. So I think he should come in here and we should thrive out with this. Like in DD, it's Sakataka is kind of just going to be there to set up the Trick Room. And then once we can get that rolling, Torkoal can roll in. And then Rillaboom's a nice back end Pokemon with medium decent speed, you know? But I think we can rock out with it. And and then we have that fake out as well, which fake out is huge, especially like in the later rounds when they don't have Dynamax issues. You can just come in, steal a turn real quick, and roll out from there. But who are you going to be, kind sir? You know I'm probably setting up Trick Room. You know I gotta be setting up Trick Room with the stock attack on the team, a Torkoal, a Jelly Scent, like, and an EDD. You gotta know Trick Room is definitely coming with this squad, because we're, we're slow in general. We're, we're decently slow, except for the Alkazam. Alkazam is used to actually come in there, send a speed swap, and give a... Give a Pokemon faster speeds. But yo, dude, that trainer card is fire. Look at that. There's like neon signs on it of all like the typings. That was good. That was probably one of the better uh, trainer cards I've seen. Let's see. Landers and Urshifu does get the lead. Um, okay. I mean, that's fine. What what can Landers do? Can he want in this form or something like that? I think Follow Me is definitely going to have to come out here. Psychic Surge popping. Does he still learn Intimidate? I'm kind of curious that. Does he still learn Intimidate in that form? Let's see. There's my seeds. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Seeds are popping. That's fine. Does he learn? He does not learn to me. So I do wonder what his ability is. Uh, definitely got to go into a follow me here. And then just go into a, that trick room. Let's set up the trick room. And then eventually we can body press. We are plus one on the defensive board. And I think these are both physical attackers. I know Urshifu is. I'm not sure about the lander second form because this is like one of my first times going up against it. But I don't really know what the difference is. Probably he has a slightly stat different and maybe a move set difference. Maybe something along those lines. Let's see. Let's see what my boy does. What you want, Lando? What you want? Follow me, pop in here. I kind of wanted him to die next, but that's fine. Let's see what he does. He's going to go for an Earth Power. Got to eat that up, buddy. Yeet. That's tasty. Indeed, he can go down. I'm not too worried about it. And a Wicked Boy is going to come out here. Indeed, he goes down. And Trick Room is going to get set up. So now I just roll out with Torx. I just roll out with Torx when we get thriving. I really do like that. Because then we have Stakataka, who's an absolute beast. With plus one on defense, and then we get Torkoal out here with the life orb. We get rolling. We get buzzing here. We get buzzing. Let's get it. Torx, get out here. Life orb Torkoal, baby. Yo, I absolutely love Torkoal. He's so good. He's such a good Pokemon. Alright, Torx chilling here. Drought's popping. Um, how do I roll? We definitely have speed advantage. We're definitely slower than both these guys. I'm definitely Dynamax Torkoal. 
The Turkle's gonna get, or I can erupt. Or I can erupt. Right? Do I erupt? I think I erupt. I think I 100% erupt and then go into a rock slide. Maybe pick up the KOs at. Nah, I say we just die max. I say I don't really risk it like that. Yeah, just die max, pick a Pokemon that I really want dead. Which would probably be that Lando. Get the Lando out of the way. And I could just body press over on the Urshifu. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Because I see Urshifu having the focus hash more than anybody. Okay, so he does swap the Lando. And who are you going to go into? Regilecki. That's totally fine. That's totally fine. I'll do big damage to Regilecki here. I'll do big damage. I wonder what what did you think I was going for? That you brought out Regilecki for? Or did you just want Lando? I think he's trying to try to wait out the trick room and he just wants Landers. But yo, big turtle boy coming out here. I probably could have erupted. it. Let me know in the comment section down below if you guys would have erupted there instead of Dynamax and Turkle. I think that would have been a decent play. I might sucker punch here. I'm gonna detect, which is totally fine. But so then I think the max player was a good call on this right side. This should take out Regilecki, no problem, unless it's Sash, but I don't think it's Sash. Yeah, get it, get it out of my face. Get it out of my face. We're gonna have Torkoal just thriving for these turns right here. The Drought's upon us. We have the Light, we have the Stab damage, the Drought damage, the Life Orb damage. Like, come on, yo. We doing some big damage with Torkoal over here. Like, he's thriving with this little smoke stack coming out the top of the shell. Absolutely love Torkoal. Such an underrated Pokemon until you get into competitive. Everyone's just like, like when I played uh, Gen 3, I was like, oh, Torkoal, like, I want a better fire Pokemon, something that evolves. Then you get in the competitive, you're like, dude, set up a trick room. Torkoal thrives, man. And he can set drought. Absolutely love him. Absolutely love him now. But Landorus is coming back out here. Um, the right thing is Final Mana. See who he has. Maybe the Finny, who he might swap into. But I think I do flare here over on Urshifu. And then I just drop a rock slide. Because I think Urshifu is going to be Sash. I really do think Urshifu is going to be Sash. And he might swap out Landorus for Finny. Trying to pull another fire move that way. So let's see. Let's see what you're gonna do. All right, right? Uh, Finny, Finny's a good call for a final back end Pokemon. He might Dynamax here though. Let's see what he does. Let's see what he does. But I see my Torkoal eating up all day. Whatever you have to offer. You know, withdraw Urshifu. Don't you dare show me the Finny on this side. Okay, it's Kartana. Kartana's dead. That was kind of dumb. What is this guy doing? What is this guy doing? He's Dynamaxing the Landers, that's fair. Wish I would've went in for the Landers. This is like his last option. Going to a Max Quake, and will Torkoal eat that up? If he does, that's huge. Then he's gonna guard next turn. Blah, 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 blah. Um, let's see. Like, we still have Robum in the back with Grassy Line. And the Surge, we can put up. Which is phenomenal. He's gonna guard now. Oh, yo, fire, that's huge. That's a huge turn for us. That's a huge turn for us. Flare's gonna come out here on Kartana. Kartana's dead. That's a huge turn for us. You'd love to see it. Now I can just flare up on the lander slot. And we're thriving. We are thriving here, yo. Torkoal coming in big, dude. Absolutely love this thing. Absolutely love this turtle with his eyes closed. <laughs> I got an itch on my nose. Like right on the side. It's just bothering me. It's just bothering me, man. Urshifu comes back out. And then we're just going to flare up on here because he can potentially detect this turn. And then I just drop a... Body press? Yeah. Let's go body press here. It's super effective, and we're plus one on defense, and it's based off our defense. And he just cancels the battle. Let's get it. Strong first battle there. Set up that trick room. Got Twerk over one out there and absolutely dominated and start off 1-0. With that win, I actually just hit Master Bolt here, so that's pretty cool. We're sitting at 6,168 on the ranking ladder, and we are 10-6, and 6, which isn't too bad, which isn't too bad. I haven't been playing Pokemon as much as I used to. So I kind of only just play on recordings right now until I, I'm starting streaming again because I definitely want to get back into streaming. But I'm kind of waiting for more newer games to come out. I don't know. I don't know. Just uh, online battles, like streaming them, they kind of kind of get old quick. But I really do love recording them. I really, I really do bring out or like bringing out content for you guys with all these recordings. But dude, this guy's team is insane. Sandstorm, Exedrill, Titar with Dragonite, Arcanine, Garchomp, and Comfy support. Bro, I feel like we're gonna get dumped on. But we definitely need Trick Room. But he can also set a Trick Room. So that's just like, like eh. It's like, bro, what do I do here? I think I might go same lead. I think Sandly could be a potential, like, good thing. Uh. Hmm. Hmm. Really definitely scary there. Uh. 
This is Sakataka. I could go Jelly. I think I might go Jelly over Sakataka just for the sheer fact I can get burns on a lot of these physical attackers. I'm gonna go Indeedee. I think I'm gonna go same squad just with uh, Jelly sent over Sakataka. I think that's the play. Hmm. Yeah, I think that's the play. We can get some big burns. We can get some big, big burns. They just follow me turn one. That's totally fair. If we sash, we eat up two turns. We set up a trick room, and then we start burning, getting out Torkoal, and rolling from there. I, th I think that's very, very, uh, it's very promising right there. Kind of like that, but I, I just feel like something's gonna go wrong. Is he gonna leave Confi? Maybe count on the trick room. Let's see who goes with Confi and Dragon. That's fair. But we can't counter up the trick room with that, or he might just proc policy. Which I, I can totally see him proc and policy. Uh, I think I gotta go for the trick room setup. Right, I gotta go for a trick room setup. Gotta go for a trick room setup. Definitely drop a follow me here. He's gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna proc policy, and he's gonna roll from there, and then I gotta get a burn on it and go from there. Keep rolling, keep moving along. This thing's an absolute monster. And then I gotta hope Torkoal eats up a shot from it. So this one, this one's gonna be real tough. This is real tough, especially against the team that I have right now. But I wonder what the coffee's gonna do. I really do. I wonder if the Confi is actually rolling Trick Room because when I used it with my Dragonite, I did not roll Trick Room with it. I was rolling uh, like Floral Healing and all that stuff. Oh, and he's going to go for a Trick Room. That dude just read me like that? He read me hard, man. What a read. What a strong read, dude. What a strong read! What do you mean? Yo, dude, this dude's, this dude's doing good. This dude's ripping. Okay, now what the- <laughs> now what is the play? <laughs> oh no! Uh, do I set up another trick room? Yeah, just Will-O-Wisp. And I expanding force. Hopefully Compi can set up another trick room. No way he double reads me. No way he double reads me. There's no way- No, he's gotta go for a trick room this turn. I, I feel like he's gonna set up a trick room and we're gonna be able to get off a of burn and all that. Should be just dandy, yo. If he does that, that's huge. Then we could potentially just take out Confi. But if we bet that turn one, we, we would have won this game. I would have put a burn on him. I would have did damage to Confi and then doubled up on it and, and finished them all. And then had Trick Room get out my next Pokemon and roll. But yo, what a smart play right there. Is he going to go Trick Room? No, dude, this dude is doing so well. Oh my lord. He's Dynamax perfect time. He's going to proc policy. Oh no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Go for another trick room, please. Please. He's gonna taunt. That's fair. I can't even burn now. Shoot, man. Shoot, man. I can't even burn. I can't do anything. Yo, dude, this one's over with, man. He has Airstream. I think my last option is to Dynamax Torkoal here. Right? It's definitely Dynamax Twerkle. Well, Lewis, I can't do it. I can't do it. Little Boom's gonna get torn up by an airstream. Twerkle has to come out here. Do its thing. Get it, Twerkle. Get it. This one's over with. This one's definitely over with. This is how dangerous this squad can be. What a play by him early on, but I gotta go for a pulse. Um. Mm. I could go for the burn. That's what I'm going to try to do. I'm going to try to at least attempt to go for the burn. And then go for my max player, my 151. Over onto the copy slot. But I'm going to at least try to go for the burn on the Dragonite. Because like, Real Boom can't be my Dynamax Pokemon. That's just a waste of Dynamax. He airstreams, he gets speed boost. We potentially get off one hit. But the like, grass isn't doing anything to him. We can trigger policy, but like it's not doing anything. It's just not doing anything. So Torkoal is our last option, in my opinion. But what really won him the game was that first turn play. That, the, the actually first tur two turns, I should say. He read Trick Room very, very well, which was phenomenal. Read that. And then he read me not going into another Trick Room, and just, or just going into a Taunt, which was smart. What a smart dude. And then he just rolled out here. Played it slow, and then now he's down. Now he's dominating. Torkoal's gonna take some damage here. Not just any kind of damage. A critical hit Airstream damage. Wow. Wow. Wow, we're getting swept. It's over with. It's over with. This match is over with. It's over with. Torkoal couldn't even withstand the airstream. Thank God I went into him. No, not a chance Robin was doing it. Can we get a burn? That's the real question. 
That's what I'm looking for. Give it to me. Nope. <laughs> Roboom, get out there, baby. Get out there, Roboom. Yeah, dude, this one's this one's a sheer wrap. That's what you get sometimes in Pokemon. Sometimes you just get absolutely pummeled and like you can't really do anything about it. Like I can't I can't do anything about this battle right now. I'm just getting absolutely pummeled and <laughs> you're just getting steamrolled. Like, dude, the comfy combos. Like it's not even like Dragonite is OP. It's more so like Comfy is just an absolute beast. You guys know what I'm saying? Like Comfy is just super strong. I guess we'll go for a Scald. Like, I guess we'll fake out. Probably go for a Grassy Glide. No, we'll go for a Grassy Glide. I'm trying to just do damage. This one's definitely over. Floral Healing. Like, yeah, even if we bring Dragonite down in health, we'll just heal it up with a Floral Healing and put it back to full health. Like, dude, Comfy is top tier support mod. Top tier support mod. 100%. Here's that Grassy Glide. And I ain't doing as much as I wanted it to do. Airstream coming out here. Roboom's out of here. That's game. That is game, dude. We got absolutely pummeled this game. We got pummeled this game. First match went very, very well on our side. Second match, you guys already know. You guys already know. The combos are just too strong. Couldn't do anything about that one. But we can hop into our third and final battle now. And at least try to go for a winning record with this team. Deli said popping. But yeah, if we would have got off Trick Room, I think we would have been thriving. Right? Yeah, we, we could have been, been cooking pretty good. Would have been actually a lot closer. Like, I feel, I feel like he still had a shot at winning even if we got up on Trick Room, but he wasn't absolutely pummeling us if we got off that Trick Room. But huge reads by him. Actually, he just said it with the comp. He's just like, I'm going to set the Trick Room. This dude's doing the same thing. What a play. What a play. But we're going to run here, hop into our third or final battle, and look for a winning record. Final battle coming at you guys. And this guy's got a pretty meta team right here with the Storm Drain Gaston, the Rotom Heat, the T Tar with the Sandstorm, the Landers with Intimidate, Papa Coco, and Cartana in the final spot. I feel like Trick Room is definitely our option always. Especially with these Pokemon. Yeah, let's uh let's go for a trick room. Do I go for the jelly scent one again? We do have water absorb with the jelly scent, but I feel like Stock Attack is just way better for this instance. Hmm. And I feel like Alkazam kinda only comes in certain instances. Instances. But let's go in DD. Definitely. I think DD Sakataka. No, I kinda want some burns, man. I kinda want some burns. I'm gonna go jelly scent. I'm gonna go jelly scent. Try try to redo that that combo there. Do you have any taunt users? I don't think so. I don't think any of these Pokemon can learn taunt. But I think we're thriving here. He probably has Intimidate, which is, yeah, that's fine. And he might actually lead that. Luckily, Torkoal's special attacking. He's probably going to be our Dynamax Pokemon. But I really do think we thrive with this. We set off the Trick Room. And then we uh, we just follow me. If Indeedy goes down, Indeedy goes down. And then we just start will o wisp from there. If he has any physical attackers on the board. He has three physical attackers, but I'm really not worried about the Cartana. I'm more so worried about the Titar. I want to get off a burn on Titar. Actually, you can't will o wisp Titars, can you? You can do it on the Landos. But still, we have Scalds. I don't think you can Will-O-Wisp uh, Tyranitars. Let me know in the comment section down below if I'm wrong. But I think you can Scald them and all that. But I don't think you can Will-O-Wisp them. I might have to try it. I might have to try it. But I feel like I did it before and it didn't work. Let's see. It goes Lando and Titar. That's 100% fine by me. He's probably going to go for a double Rock Slide. I'm not even lying. I wouldn't be surprised to see a double Rock Slide here. Which will definitely give us a flinch. So I don't even know if we go into a follow me. I might just drop an Expanding Force. Cause I can 100% see a double rock side coming, right? Yeah. That's fair. That's a fair statement to make. Sandstream popping. Yo, yeah, he's definitely double rock side. This was his plan all. The double rock side. I'm just going to drop an expanding force. Has no effect on him. But I am going to start trying to do some damage on you. Then I think I trick him. I, I at least attempt to get off the trick him. But he's totally going for the double rock side. Rock side. Little rock side. He's looking for the flinches. Let's see what he does. See what you what he does. Yo, get him out of here. And then if we don't get off Trick Room, then we just Dynamax uh our boy Rilla. And let's play. Intimidate does nothing up against these Pokemon, which is huge. Only Pokemon that it will do work up against is going to be my uh Rillaboom. Hopefully we can get Landers out the way before Rillaboom does come out the play. And he, oh he goes for EQs. I knew he's going for double hit and move, so I was just like, dude, it's fair. Oh he does damage to his T Tar. He does a heaping amount of damage. Oh, and this rock side's gonna come in hot. This rock side's gonna come in real hot. Indeed, you at speed? Thank you. Does not affect T-Tar, we already know that. Do some damage over on the Slando. Built. Getting some decent amount of damage done. And the rock side misses? Nope. Can X, come on, Jelly Belly, Jelly Eat. Jelly eats, Jelly. They both actually eat. Well, Indeed's gonna go down. Trick Room does come off, though. Huge, man, that's huge. Okay, Torko can come out here and kind of thrive this battle up. So I'd love to see. Love to see it. Good, okay, Ndidi gone. I'm fine with that. I'm fine with Ndidi going down. Uh, Torkoal's gonna come out here. We bring out Torkoal, we Dynamax Torkoal. Uh, 
I definitely gotta throw a flare. I gotta change up. Well, the weather's just gonna change up. And do I flare the Lando? That's my question. And try to get after his T-Tar? Or do I make sure T-Tar goes down? Because he's a huge threat. I think we quake over on this slot. I think that's play. I think, I think we try to make sure that goes down. And we double up into this slot. Just in case. I think we double up in the T-Tar slot. Just in case. Even though, I, I, like, that, the only way he's surviving is if he Dynamaxes it. That's why I'm gonna double up in the slot, just in case. I don't think he's protecting. We're gonna get a special defense boost, which is actually pretty decent and big. But, if Je if, Je if Jelly Sent got flinched there, we probably loot- we, uh, we will lose this match. So he doesn't swap, which is good. He might like, I can see him protecting t -Tar. I really do wonder what he's doing, or he might- he's probably gonna try to get off another hit with him. Considering he's a policy proc, but that was a weird way to proc policy was to go into a trait EQ without Dynamaxing. And there's just so many better options to do that, you know, to proc it. And he's just like, alright, I'll just do this. And once he's gonna go for a protect with the T-Dot, that's fair. I can definitely Skull next turn and pick up a KO. We're gonna do a little bit of damage with this max quake. It's actually huge. Good, I knew I should've went after the, what's it called? I knew I should've went after the, uh, the Lando. But I'll go after Landorus this turn with a Flare. Flare will take it out. And Landorus probably gonna... Is he gonna... He's going for an EQ here. He's definitely going for an EQ. He's gonna take out... He's gonna do damage to my Torkoal. And he's gonna... And he's gonna uh, take out my Jelly Scent. Lando goes for EQ. Yeah. Yo, Bilp. Torkoal eats pretty fine there, which I really, really like. And... Again, Torkoal can take out Landorus in one shot with a Flare. And then I just bring in Rillaboom. Which I want to fake out. I... I'd rather just go for a grassy guy and take out the star here. I think that's the play. And you might actually swap the landers here. The surge is popping though. The surge is popping. Yeah, we're just gonna have a grassy guide into T Tar. That's the play. Hands down. Hands down, that's the play. Player. This is my 150 play, right? Yeah. It's 150. Lando goes good goes is gonna go down. We're gonna grassy guide here. I probably should have maybe drain punched in case he sucker punches. But what would go first? I think Rillaboom would still go first considering he's faster. And then, then it considers... Like that, I think it goes to speed after uh, two first turn priority gets through. But he's gonna withdraw T-Tar and he's gonna go in the Rotom Heat. Pretty smart. Pretty smart, I guess. Lando's gonna get the withdrawal too and go in the Gastro maybe? Ooh, ooh, the plays! The plays, okay, I can just grass guide that next turn, but he is going to 100% uh, see him uh, protecting that next turn. I 100% see him protecting the Gastron. Thing. That's still huge damage. That is still huge damage. He's gonna protect Gastro this turn. I'm gonna. He's gonna protect Gastro. I'm gonna protect Rollboom. And I'm gonna go for a flare over onto that uh that Rotom. I think that's just. He's he's making some nice plays here. He's making some nice plays. I gotta give it to him. Definitely got a flare. Definitely got a flare over on you. And definitely got to protect here. And then I can grass guy take out Gastron in one shot next turn. Or whatever Pokemon he swaps into. Because I think he's gonna try to protect Gastron, go for an overheat, take out my real one. I think that, that I think that's what he's attempting to do. And that's my big threat right there. It's gonna be that Rotom. It's gonna be that Rotom. So if he doesn't Dynamax and we can do big damage on that thing, I'm I'm worth the ride. Go ahead, make a move. But he Probably has a berry. He probably has a berry. Actually, he might not, considering Gastron just ate a citrus berry. So which all Gastron? All right, smart play. Get intimidate. Ooh, ouch. Yo, dude, this guy's swapping really well. He's playing really well. I gotta give it to him. He's playing super, super well here. Super, super well. And he's that's game. I think. I think he's got this one now. Actually, he's gonna proc policy for me. He is gonna proc policy for me. He is gonna proc policy for me. This is really, really nice, but that's still gonna do a heaping amount. That's still gonna do a lot of damage, this flare coming to my Rillaboom slot. Even through to protect, it's still gonna do a lot of damage. Let's, let's just see how this one plays out. He protects, I go for a flare. Run to you. Trying to do as much as I can. that and then he's gonna go for a flare over on Rillaboom slot 
Little Boom's gonna be able to eat. He should be able to. Still a decent amount of damage to protect. We are minus one. Actually, no, we're plus one. We're plus one. Now, is Rillaboom slower? This, this is a good question. Is Rillaboom slower than Rotom? I think I need that in order to win this game. I think I need that in order to win this game. I need to Drain Punch the KO at plus one, get my HP back, and Heat Wave to take out Lando. We gotta go for Heat Wave. I gotta go for a Drain Punch. I gotta go for a drain punch. We gotta hope Robin is a little bit slower. I don't, I don't think I don't know if we're gonna be able to take out Rotom with both these moves. We'll see. Max player did do a decent amount. Hopefully he's not holding that berry, so when we hit this thing, it uh, procs a berry. Cause Lando actually might go down to a heat wave here. Let's see what he does. What you gonna do, man? What are you gonna do? I'm down to my two final. But if we get this Rotom gone here, let's say we uh, we don't. If we get this Rotom gone, we have this game in a bag. I can grace got out with my robin we kind of just thriving in and out. No, which all Lando, that's fair. Going to Gash it on. Oh, no, Titar, that's totally fine. Um, Heat Wave will take that out, so that's that's huge for us. That's just like a free KO. Oh, I guess he won the buffets, which is pretty kind of smart. Kind of smart. He's gonna guard. Wow, what a play. I'm fine with. I just take out you. Oh, he's gonna get intimidated again. That was his bell, his play. He was gonna take you out. He's gonna get intimidated again, bring me down to zero. E! Biscuit man. And then I could protect again. He might end up reading. Hmm. I, I, like, I need to know the speeds, man. I know these speeds will make everything a lot easier for me. But Intimidate's gonna come back out with Lando. We kinda see that coming. We're gonna be equal, we're gonna be zero, and no trick room. No trick room, what you mean? Laid out the trick room perfectly. This guy played really, really well with the swaps. Hands down. Intimidate back out here. I think I, I, think I got a glide here. I think I got a heat wave. We don't even have the drought anymore, which absolutely stinks. I gotta, I gotta go. I gotta go after this Rotom. Like the Rotom is a threat. Maybe, maybe hope to get double crit. Maybe hope. I don't think we're taking it out anymore. We're, we have no. We're even on the attack board, and we have no drought for Torkoal. Lander's gonna EQ. Lander's outspeeds everything. He's levitated. Torkoal's gonna go down. Little Boom needs like a massive crit here in order to win this game. Wait a minute, yo, Torkoal eight. Torkoal eight, and this thing outspeeds us. Dang, dude. Yep, that's game. That is game. Man. Oh, yeah, I need it. So that actually would have worked in the trick room if we were slower and when we were plus one. I think we potentially could have got the KO with the Rotom. Got some HP back and won it. But dude, he played so well with the max guards and all those swaps that he did. Definitely won in the game, hands down. Oh, dude, our drain punch would have probably took that out. I mean, we got a crit on the Lando. <laughs> we got a crit on the Lando. Um, and then Torka goes down to life with damage. That's GG. That is GG. One and two for this video. Not too bad. Played really, really well the first battle. And the second battle we played well. Uh, but the second... Or not second battle. Second battle we got trashed on. But the third one we played pretty decent as well. Shout out to my boy Chase Fisher for dropping this team once again. Seriously, it rocked out. I absolutely loved it. Did not get to show off to Alkazam. But it's pretty straightforward for what he does. He can speed swap. He can ally switch. And he can expanding force. It's kind of nothing. Too, too special, but awesome Trick Room team right here. We won our first battle playing decently well. Second battle, you guys already saw, we got absolutely dumped on. And third battle, I didn't think we played too, too bad. I just think that guy just totally outplayed us and won that game because of it. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.